What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Being Beautifully Honest podcast and channel. Thank you so much for being here. If you are a subscriber, thank you so much. And if you are not subscribed yet, please do go ahead and do so. And if you're listening to this on YouTube while you're at it, go ahead and hit that like button. It's like walking into the room and hitting that light switch. Let's just go ahead and brighten up the place. So let's get into this conversation. I was going to talk about this weeks ago, actually, but since this clip just came out recently on the Neighborhood Talk on Instagram with Gabrielle Union, and I had a little bit of time, just a little bit of time, I thought I would go ahead and bring this back up because, as you know, the Met Gala happened and stars came out to showcase, you know, what they wanted to wear and represent and Gabrielle Union and Dwayne Wade, they were, I guess, making a statement with their attire. Okay. And as we all know, Dwayne Wade, who is a custodial parent to the children that he had with his ex-wife, he has pushed for his child's that says they are now a female to identify as such via the birth certificate and name change, whereas the child's birth mother was against it while the child is under age. Now, I have talked about this subject a number of times here on my platform because I just speak from the state of being a mother myself and understanding where she's coming from in terms of having her custody ripped away from her based on the bias that is in the family court system when you are going against the person that has the upper hand and in the upper hand in that upper hand column it's the person with the money and the fame, which was her ex-husband, Dwayne Wade. And he wanted to make her out to be this crazy woman, this lunatic, and also had a gag order placed on her. So that's one of the reasons why you haven't heard her say much with regards to her children and not just her children that she had with Dwayne Wade, but also her marriage and her relationship. Like she hasn't had the opportunity to come out and share her story, share her side, write a book, any of those things. He wanted to keep her silent. So when people do things like that, I feel like it's really, really fishy, you know, because if this person comes out and shares her story, some people are going to believe her and some people are not going to believe her, just like some people believe him and others don't believe him when it comes to the narratives that are put out there. But it's okay for her to be silenced and you're not and you have the custody of the children and you've gotten the opportunity to win in the court system. And so now you are, in my personal opinion, using the child for profit and for gain. And that was one of the things that his ex-wife alleged. She did allege that. And if you look at at things that are out there with the child on the cover of magazines. The child is walking in runway shows. Um, A spokesperson for Tiffany jewelry, like a number of different things as a female, okay? Because some people may say, well, children do stuff like that all the time. That's not a big deal. But why don't we see the other child or other children who identify as what they were born as being showcased in that way. Yeah, you see Gabrielle Union doing things on social media a lot with the the, um, child that they have via a surrogate, but it's just different. We can attest to the fact that there is a lot of hatred that comes towards the LGBTQ community for sure, but... On the flip side of that, there is definitely a lot of money that comes toward those who are advocates for the LGBTQ community that have a big name and a face 
and they get that exposure and it can work in their favor. Yeah, they may get hate and backlash, but for the most part, they're getting them dollars. And when I've spoken about this before, I really made my point in that I don't care how much money Dwayne Wade and Gabrielle Union together have or that they've earned in their careers over the years. Just because they've made a lot of money doesn't mean that they don't want more or even need more. Because let's just be clear, he's a retired NBA player and Gabrielle Union is not this A-list actress that is getting roles left, right, and center. Every time she turns around, she's booking roles. So just be honest about it. They need the money because the more money usually people like this make, the higher their expenses are, the cost of living that they have, that they have gotten themselves involved in they have in order to stay there they have to keep making money they have to keep having revenue coming in because you if you just keep having revenue going out and you're not generating any more coming in then you eventually have to downsize or eventually go broke file for bankruptcy all of those different types of things like that so scenes wayne wade dressed the way he dressed at the Met Gala and speaking about being an advocate for the trans community, to me, I feel that it's for profit. It's not really to help the community, so to speak, because there have been a number of stories over the past few weeks of trans people that have lost their lives. Not, I don't really know all of the back details as to the reasons they lost their lives, not saying that it was warranted or deserved, but I haven't heard him come out and spoken against the trans community being attacked in that way. I mean, I haven't heard him come out in support of the families of these trans people that have lost their lives or or doing any types of fundraisers to help them with funeral costs or anything like that. To me, It looks and appears as if they're doing it for the sake of getting more deals for their child and for themselves as a family because they so-called support Zaya. So I'm going to play a couple of things and continue with my conversation. What's your message to Ron DeSantis? I don't, I don't know him, um, but I do know men lie, women lie, but numbers don't. I do know that when our children feel accepted, that 43% of our children uh, that feels accepted from their parents, from the world, it lowers the death rate. Suicide is high in the trans community. It's high in, in youth. And so I'm going to step on the side of acceptance, and I'm not going to even go on the other side. I'm just focused on acceptance. And so let's... Let's make sure our kids have an opportunity to live this life that we all get to live. And um, it starts with our gun safety laws, obviously. We have a lot of work to do there in our schools, um, but also, too, um, you know, in our community, which is the trans community. What's your message to... All right. So you heard him say, and he said, our community, which is a trans community. So it's a little bit weird because he's including himself in that, even though he's not technically a trans person himself. But it's what he said. You heard those words come out of his mouth, okay? And then recently, Gabrielle Union, she talked about something that just kind of brought me back to the thought regarding them, in my opinion, and what the birth mother, Siobhan Funches, accused Dwayne Wade and his current wife, Gabrielle Union now, of which is exploiting their child for profit. And that the work is coming and I just, as long as I keep knocking it out, there's going to be more and there isn't this sort of sense of the rug is going, could, could still be pulled out. Uh, I struggle with that. Still, just because I, I think I just have more responsibilities, you know, for my money. So I get nervous, like, oh God, that, that movie didn't open, you know, well, what does that mean? Do I, am I, do I, do, am I going to have enough to, to, to hold everybody up? And, and, and everyone's like, it's coming, like, 
calm down. And I'm trying to find peace in the journey, not using my anxiety and scarcity mindset to be my engine, which is hard. It's weird to say I'm head of household because in this household, we split everything 50-50. But in the other households that each of us have to support, it puts this, there's always this like gorilla on your back that it is like, you better work, you better work, you better work. You know, you, you gonna sleep in? Mm. You know, somebody might not eat. You go, well, you better work. And it's hard. It's hard to let that go. So I'm working on that. All right. So you heard what she said about she and Dwayne splitting everything 50-50. Now, I'm not even going to go down the rabbit hole of husbands and wives and the way you deal with expenditures in your household. Because to me, it sounds like they're roommates splitting everything 50-50. I mean, whatever. Anyway, but... She talked about the fears that she has about if something gets canceled that she was booked for and she's relying on that money. So when you couple that with what she said, also with the fact that they're definitely putting little Zaya to work. She's strutting on those runways. She's doing the covers of those magazines. She's the spokesperson for Tiffany Jewelry and any other things that are going to be flung in the child's direction that they can sign a contract for and get that child paid for. Because trust and believe, they're not putting all that money away for Zaya and they're not touching it. They're definitely going to benefit from it, period. And so, yeah, they need the money. They definitely want it and they need the money because you just heard her speak about not just their own household that they have to deal with, but other households that they are helping to support. So yeah, they definitely need the money. So for people who wanted to make it seem like, well, they are wealthy, they're rich, they're famous. They don't need to exploit this child for money. They've got it. Trust and believe. Just because these people may have made a lot of money in their careers does not mean that they don't need it. They definitely need the money. And using Zaya, in my opinion, is the perfect opportunity. I don't believe that Siobhan Funches lied about anything when it came to what she said about Dwayne Wade using the child to exploit for profit. Period. I believe her. My personal opinion is she was telling the truth, but because she doesn't have the name, She didn't have the money for these high-powered attorneys to fight him in moving forward in this. She lost in court. But you know something? I just hope and pray at some point in time that the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth will be absolutely revealed And that there can be no doubt about it for those naysayers or those who just want to feel like, oh, well, they're amazing advocates for the LGBTQ community. I'm not attacking them. I'm just speaking what I believe to be the truth is the fact that they are using this child because you see them so much posing with this child. They got an award. They got honored at the NAACP Image Award for something in the LGBTQ community. Like, all of this is for gain. It's definitely garnered them and gained them more attention. Like, did you ever hear about Dwayne Wade going to the Met Gala before all of this stuff with the child came out? I never did. And the way she and he looked on that red carpet, or whatever they call it, (laughs) for the cameras, to me, they definitely were making a statement. And they are for hire. In my personal opinion, I believe that they are. So I really just wanted to talk about that because I found it very interesting that they had this clip and she talked about her money fears and the fact that she and Dwayne split everything 50-50, which to me, just going to speak on this briefly, I find very, very weird. I know some people look at it like that, but I just, in my personal opinion, believe that when you're married, 
you shouldn't be splitting things 50-50 when it comes to your household. I believe you should be all in and you all take care of everything together. And even if that means one person is handling everything when it terms in terms of, you know, making sure the bills are paid, but it's not, oh, well, I got my half of the mortgage. You got yours? <laughs> you know, like that to me is weird. That makes to me seem like you're roommates and you're not married. You're not a spouse. Well, I, I got my half of the of the insurance. You got yours? You, you know, like that's absolutely ridiculous. We split everything 50-50. I don't know. I just wanted to speak on that part briefly. But my main point of this conversation is the fact that people who wanted to make it seem like these people are not exploiting their child for profit I believe in my personal opinion that they are, they need the money, and they're definitely not going to be turning any of it down. And so they are for hire, they have Zaya for hire, and they will definitely sell the child out for the highest bidder or bidders, (laughs) okay? So you can let me know your thoughts in the comment section. Thank you so much for liking and subscribing. I'm Beth, and I'm just being beautifully honest. So until the next time, I just wanted to keep it brief, beautiful, and now I'm going to say bye.